Hey guys, and welcome to the Working Money Channel. Wow, what a day on the markets yesterday. When I was recording yesterday's video, uh, we were sitting in and around here for Bitcoin, and it was pretty much business as usual. Within the next hour, though, we saw Bitcoin shoot right up, and then uh, during the afternoon, it was kind of cascading downward, but it was forming what was looking like a bullish pennant pattern. I don't know if you can see that there. I don't know why I'm not drawing this straighter. But then we had this huge collapse in and around uh, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So mid to late afternoon, we saw Bitcoin price plummet. We did see it go down as much as 8%, 8.5% before it rebounded back up. So, uh, I mean, it did hit a high up here, $30,000. Of course, that is a psychological price point, uh, but did come right back down, right down in here, back to $27,000, back where we were seeing it uh, earlier in the week. So what the heck was going on yesterday? Credible Crypto here on Twitter, uh, happy to see Bitcoin under 30,000. He says he's happy to spend as much time under 30,000 as possible before the next leg up starts. The more time we spend chopping through 25 to 30,000, the less time we need to spend chopping through 40, 50, and 60,000 on the way to a new all-time high this year. So he's saying first, I guess, that he's uh, predicting a new all-time high this year. I don't know if that's going to happen. Uh, nevertheless, chopping down in this area, and, and again, this is Bitcoin on the daily. If I throw it on the, or sorry, it was on the one hour. If I throw it here on the daily, what he is saying is that, uh, you know, if we can get this kind of out of the way here, then we'll be spending the time down in this zone. And uh, then, in fact, we won't have to be spending that same time chomping upwards near 40000 50000 or $60,000. So what he's saying is, you know, let's spend the time down here. And I mean, this is where people are buying anyway. So I mean, what did happen? Whalewire here also bringing this up. Bitcoin has plunged about 9% just minutes after the Mt. Gox wallets went active for the first time in seven years. So for those of you guys uh, who have been in the space for a while, you probably know already uh, about the Mt. Gox story. I'm not going to go into it in this video if you're not familiar, but you can Google it. I'm sure you'll find lots of information about that. The maxis are getting anxious now. Once the BTC is finished being distributed back to victims, we will witness a mega sell wave that will destroy many retail and Bitcoin maximalists. So he is saying, you know, this is just the beginning, 9%. Of course, there were enough buy orders to bring the price back up. And uh, now on the Bitcoin chart, particularly we are forming what is looking like another bullish pennant pattern coming right up out of that and forming that bullish pennant pattern. So here's a little more detail on the story. Uh, this decrypt article brought to us by Ian Bins here. Blockchain analytics firm Arkham said wallets linked to defunct crypto exchange Mt. Gox and the U.S. government had moved large amounts of Bitcoin, but the alert was a result of a bug fix. So they are suggesting that it was because of this Mt. Gox report. Uh, the news came on the heels of reports that blockchain analytics firm Arkham said that there were wallets linked to this exchange, the Mt. Gox exchange, and the U.S. government had moved significant amounts of Bitcoin. Arkham CEO Miguel Morel told Decrypt that the wallet movements weren't connected, meaning that the U.S. wasn't necessarily the one moving or selling assets listed to Mt. Gox. Uh, roughly an hour later, Arkham posted on Twitter that the alert was sent out in error and only to a small subset of users, which uh, included crypto Twitter account tier, uh, tier 10K, also known as DB. The company said the bug fix related to Bitcoin alerts on its system caused the error, but did not provide further details. So some were assuming it was this Mt. Gox uh, connection, but... Uh, you know, now they're backtracking and saying, no, that was uh, sent out in error and it wasn't in fact that, but they're not giving a reason as to what it was. But with regards to government addresses uh, and the Mt. Gox thing and, uh, you know, even just government holding Bitcoin, I did want to point you guys to this from 24 Hour Crypto here on Twitter. The U.S. government has distributed 9,861 Bitcoin into hundreds of wallets and those Bitcoin are on the move. Now, these are snapshots from uh, from March, from mid-March 2023. But take a look at some of these balances, guys. 30,174 Bitcoin worth about $851.3 million. Okay, these are all confirmed government addresses. 8,999 Bitcoin worth $253.9 million. Uh, you guys can see here, 825. That one wasn't as large. However, these are still uh, fairly large amounts. So, you know, there you have it. Identified addresses associated with government. Uh, so, I mean, you know, even if this did not create the crash that we are currently seeing, government does have control over Bitcoin. And uh, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, the more people sell, the more these huge whales sell in concert with one another, uh, the worse it is for the markets and the more manipulated it does become. 
I mean, I'm just happy we're seeing a healthy rebound here. And so taking a look at the TA here, Eggrag Crypto brought this up. We are seeing, despite what happened earlier, we are seeing a strong diamond channel for Bitcoin. The below strong diamond channel is telling us a story and a story with clues about what the future is hiding from us. So guys, here's what to expect in the future with regards to Bitcoin. And we know Bitcoin does uh, influence the rest of the market. So I think this is important. Let me show you this thread, how Bitcoin has behaved with the SDC and how it will react in the future. So he brings up the Nike swoosh pattern, something that I've talked about on my channel in the past. Bitcoin formed the first all time high and then dipped below the channel. The bears finally succeeded in defeating the bulls in the first epic battle. Now this was around, uh, this was around the time Bitcoin was trading at around 12 to $16. So 2012, 2013. However, the recovery was not fast. On the contrary, it was slow and grinding and building. So uh, this was the trend back in 2012. And, uh, you know, of course, it did come down quite heavily. And then that grind to the upside before we finally reached that all time high again uh, took quite a while. And, you know, this is generally how the crypto market works. And this is what uh, essentially ends up forming that Nike swoosh pattern. The Nike swoosh recovery took around 600 days, but the bulls have gained strength and momentum to have a slingshot move for the next 10 years. This strong diamond channel will act as a major support for the bulls. The rigid foundations was built for 600 days is key. So uh, I just want you guys to focus on this. The strong diamond channel that we keep referring back to even after 2013, he goes on to say 890 days it took Bitcoin to dip its toes back into the strong diamond channel. Bulls did push the price up at this time. It was uh, $1,200, and this was the most recorded history for the Bitcoin bulls. And guys, you can see since this point here, since we broke through that channel, we have dipped back down into that channel, and he points that out here with uh, item C over here. Uh, let me just continue on. He gives the amount of days to 1,671 days uh, it took for Bitcoin bears to bring the price of Bitcoin to touch the SDC. Uh, the bulls were having their most victorious victory. They slaughtered almost all the bears standing. The only way to bring BTC back to the SDC was through the beer flu pandemic. And it was that beer flu pandemic that brought us, you can see that right there, that brought us right back into that channel right down in there but not going below it guys 921 days it took the bears to bring the bulls back to the sdc they also managed to dump it inside the channel for some time but only with the help of the most sinister corrupted black swan events and so guys here is where we are today and uh those black swan events that he mentions are the luna collapse the celsius issue uh voyager of course 3ac and ftx bringing us right down here in this channel a uh, great opportunity to buy. This is when I loaded in, purchased my H bar position. Uh, and then since then, we've come back out of that. But even according to this, guys, we are still trading within that channel. So this is really the beginning. I mean, the beginning of a new bull run. On top of everything, though, that has happened, the XRP community was also noticing this. And uh, if you guys hadn't heard about this story, XRP suddenly plunges to zero dollars on the bit true exchange and jx or zero here said who had an xrp buy order at 0. 0.0007 cents anyone apparently somebody on uh, bit true did have an order in at 0. 0.0007 cents and bought up a whole bunch of xrp uh so we were getting reports from this as well yesterday which uh, also added to some of the confusion according to user reports xrp suddenly plunged to near zero dollars on Singapore-based crypto exchange BitTrue hours ago. Uh, some of the users took to Twitter to share screenshots of the devastating wick on the XRP to USDT chart, a uh, perpetual trading pair on BitTrue, which liquidated long positions within a relatively short time. XRP enthusiast and crypto lawyer Bill Morgan commented on the incident, uh, and BitTrue also commented on uh, what had happened. So to clarify, uh, they said between the minute between 7.15 and 7.16 UTC yesterday, we experienced a technical glitch in our system which led to certain orders for XRP to USDT being placed with incorrect prices and quantities. Uh, Bitru will be taking the following actions to rectify the matter. So they also stated down here, guys, uh, all positions made between this time will be reversed and the margin amount will be returned to their accounts. For users who have been liquidated, all losses will be nullified and their margin amounts will be refunded to their accounts. The settlement price of XRP will be marked as 0.4696 taken at uh, that particular time. So we deeply apologize for any inconveniences this may have caused. Wow. XRP going down to zero dollars on the Bitru exchange. And you know what Bill Morgan said here? I, sh I guess I should go back to that. This happened. He said, Bitru official had a lot of long positions open on XRP. Just the sort of happening you would have nightmares about just before a favorable ruling in the case and price increase. 
things that make you go, hmm. Not that we've been hearing any murmurings uh, as of late from James K. Filan or uh, anybody from the SEC camp about the verdict of the case. I guess I should bring up XRP as well. And uh, as you guys can see, uh, mimicking what Bitcoin was doing yesterday. Uh, yesterday on the chart, I was uh, you know talking about how XRP was making its way up along with Bitcoin. And then, of course, along with Bitcoin yesterday afternoon, we did also see that plunge for XRP, uh, bringing it down around 43.3. Uh, but it did rebound. It did rebound, in fact, uh, up back 9%, 8.5%. So now XRP right now trading at about 45.7. So close to where it was trading, uh, you know, yesterday morning. Well, I mean, maybe a couple of days ago. Yesterday we were up a little bit. But guys, ultimately, this is all noise. You know, we haven't even really seen much yet. Again, zooming out here on the XRP chart, taking a look at just some of this sloshing that we've been doing down and around here. Uh, ever since the spring of 2022, we've really just kind of been in this area here, uh, you know, just kind of trading sideways anywhere from, uh, I mean, we'll call it, let's just put a line up there. We'll call it 55 cents uh, and at the low 28.6. So this has been the zone that we've been in for the last uh, year now. It'll be over a year very, very soon. Nothing really terribly exciting for XRP. I mean, the same is really true for Bitcoin. I mean, we are getting a little bit more price action for BTC in terms of excitement, at least, uh, whereas XRP is just kind of trading sideways as of now. But if present day were to mimic history, guys, and we were to take this fractal pattern here, we are, in fact, noticing some similarities. The peaks and valleys uh, from that 2016 fractal pattern, which means here, let me just get rid of some of that, which means we could be in for another sub 40 cent XRP, bringing the price right back down in here before we see liftoff, guys. So 2023 going to be an interesting year, definitely going to be a year to be stacking up. Anyway, that's what happened in the market yesterday. I'm going to keep this video short, but tell me down in the comments what you guys think. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you like the content I'm providing. I always love hearing your comments. See you in the next one, guys.